We are breaking out of our Halloween mold today on the Express. You need me? What do you need me for? Sword play, gallows, pirates, and haunted buildings. Coming up, it's eerie nights of fright at Fort Langley. It's a happy Halloween. Says you. Okay, for some of us. Welcome back to our Express Trick or Treat Halloween special. I'm Johanna Ward, and no, I'm not doing any trick or treating here with Cookie because I don't think what he has on the table looks very appealing. Although, I will say I'm getting off easy tonight touring Eerie Nights of Fright in Fort Langley. It's a pretty awesome show. We're going to show you more about it coming up. You know, it takes them two full months to set up for Fright Nights. Imagine planning Halloween in August. Did a great job, though. They sure made air and scream. Thankfully, I'm not the one being hassled or haunted on today's Express Halloween special. I'm leaving that to the ghastly pirates, or in this case, maybe ghostly. Coming up, haunted history at Fort Langley's Eerie Nights of Fright. I'm really a prisoner. <laughs> Thriller, it is a one-of-a-kind, certainly. But you know what? It's not the only Halloween-inspired dance show. Up next, we have hip-hopping ghouls who are dancing for the hell of it. In the meantime, pirates are attacking at Eerie Nights of Fright in Fort Langley. And I've picked the wrong place to hide. While these ghouls make a meal of me, have a look at some other gourmet Halloween treats. After the break, it's Eerie Nights of Fright. The hunt Welcome back to the Express Halloween Special. I'm Johanna Ward, and we are following along with the tour at Eerie Nights of Fright in Fort Langley. I'm not really sure what's coming up next, and I'm feeling a little bit nervous, but I think I am off the hook tonight because our youth produced segment, Gen Y, well, they're hanging with Charlie the Chainsaw. Gen Y is our youth produced segment. All of the reporters are volunteers that are in high school and have an interest in the broadcasting biz. Apparently, they're also fearless, except when it comes to Chainsaw Charlie. We're carrying on with our Express Halloween special, taking a little trip back in time at Eerie Nights of Fright in Fort Langley. Langley, I bet it's already a bit spooky at night. You guys have made it really scary. What have you done? Well, we put together the upper fort with some really uh, delightfully ghoulish scenes. We have a, a jail and a, and a really nasty man being electrocuted. And we have uh, somebody who's in execution and a damsel in distress who's just had her husband's head cut off. And then we have a black light scene with some uh, crazy characters in there. And of course a fortune teller, because you have to have a fortune teller. But I think one of the, one of the real super rooms is the uh, hospital and the kitchen where you can come and have some eyeballs for supper and maybe a severed head or two and a few body parts. Halloween at Fort Langley. You guys have made it extra scary and maybe educational? Uh, yes, education is scarier than anything else in the world. We, we do have to admit to that. Um, we're a firm believer in entertaining, but we're also a firm believer in making sure that some education gets in there. Tell me what's going on here. What's the plot? There's so much going on. It's moving pretty fast. <laughs> well, every year at the Renaissance Festival itself, the storyline continues from year to year. So when we do Halloween, we kind of stick something in between. And this time, Cobbs and Charity, Charity being myself, the captain of the Jade Dragon, and my first mate, Cobbs, have been caught and thrown in jail. So we're introducing the kids to the kind of things that would have been, well, cooked for a last meal, um, the kind of <clears throat> punishment instilled and uh, all the lovely gory bits that, that the time period had to offer. And of course some amazing swordplay that you guys are known for. Well I get to pick on the deputy, you know, I get to take him down. I get the young buck, you know, why not fresh meat? And uh, my first mate gets to pick on the sheriff and uh, we take him down and we escape with Davinia, the Cobbs' love of his life in his arms. And I guess the, the biggest thing is just to stay on the good side of the hangman. Uh, yeah, it's not a bad idea to stay on his good side, especially when he uh, outsizes us. I keep trying to talk him on the crew, but you know, just somehow he um, he thinks he's a good guy. He really does think he's a good guy. You know, we we think we're good guys too. You know, right? Oh damn, <laughs> I am so screwed. And what happens, Hangman, when we're we're not good to you? I can show you. Okay, so the 
sword fighting pirates and the ghoulish scenes at eerie nights of fright at Fort Langley certainly say Halloween. There's also one song and dance synonymous with this hallowed holiday. You're thinking Monster Mash? Well, I'm talking about Thriller. And recently, some zombie fans in Vancouver broke a world record. The unofficial numbers are that almost 4,000 people took part in Thrill the World, bringing dance and zombie loving to the masses. Our local group raised about $1,000. How about some other Halloween events that are still happening that you can get involved with? In? Of course, we have Eerie Nights of Fright here at Fort Langley, and we have these. For me, Halloween is actually more about making stuff. I admit this year that I made chicken finger monster claws and guacamole ghoul eyes. I know, I'm kind of a Halloween geek. If you want to get more ideas about events and attractions that are going on, you can go to VancouverHalloween.com. I'm Joe Hannah Warden from All of Us on the Show. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween, and we'll scare you next time.